find the number of ordered pairs of positive integers x, y that satisfy this Diophantine equation. 1 over x plus 1 over y equals 1 over 252. You can pause the video and try this problem first. Let's recall that when we say Diophantine equation, it is a polynomial equation usually involving two or more unknowns such that the only solutions of interests are the integer ones. So in this equation, we limit our solution to positive integer values for x and y. So let's begin by first simplifying the given equation. Let's add the fractions at the left to arrive at y plus x over xy is equal to the right side 1 over 252. Now let's multiply both sides of the equation by the least common denominator and the shortcut way of doing that is by just cross multiplication. And then we distribute 252 to the binomial y plus x and let's gather all the terms at the left side of the equation. The right side is 0. Now what can we do with this equation? Notice that x and x are common in the first two terms, but the third term is alone. So let's introduce a constant by adding 252 squared to both sides of the equation. The purpose is so that we can apply factoring by grouping. Notice that when I group together the first two terms and the last two terms, there's a common factor here of x, and factoring this x out, we arrive at x times the quantity y minus 252. And for the last two terms, let's factor out negative 252, so we arrive here at minus 252 times the quantity y minus 252. If you distribute this monomial to the binomial, you'll go back to the original terms. Then we just copy the right side. Then notice again that there is y minus 252 that's common. And factoring that out, here is the result. That is the reason why we add 252 squared to both sides so that we'll be able to rewrite that in a clean factored form like this. So let's focus now our attention to this last equation. Let's remember that we are looking for the set of ordered pairs of positive integers x, y that will now satisfy this modified equation based on the given equation. Notice also that we have here two factors. If you can get also two factors at the right side like this, then y minus 252 would be equal to this first factor and x minus 252 would be equal to this second factor. We therefore need to find all the factors of 252 squared. And there must be a lot of them. Now, fortunately, we have this process of finding the number of factors of any number. Let's demonstrate this first with a smaller number. Let's say 12. How many factors are there in 12? First, we know that 12 is divisible by 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. And so, there would be this pair of factors for 12. 12 is 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4, 4 times 3, 6 times 2, and 12 times 1. All in all, we have six factors. When we have a big number, it's hard to list down all the possible factors. Luckily, we have this process. First step is find the prime factorization of the given number. The prime factorization of 12 is 2 squared times 3. And we want to write that prime factorization in exponent form. Then in step number 3, you take all these exponents 2 and 1 and add 1 to each of these exponents. So this exponent 2 plus 1 that's the number here. This exponent 1 plus 1, this is the other factor. Then step number 4, multiply the resulting numbers. So you have 3 times 2, which is equal to 6, which is the same as these 6 factors. Now, that means we have this 252 squared that we can find the number of factors using that procedure. But first, let's find the prime factorization of the base 252 that is equal to 2 squared times 3 squared times 7. And so, the prime factorization of 252 squared would be equal to the right side squared. In applying power of power, we now have 2 to the 4th times 3 to the 4th times 7 squared. This is now the form that we want. And so going back now to this procedure, we want to get this exponents 4, 4, and 2. And we are going to add 1 to each of these exponents and get the product. And we arrive at 75. This means 252 squared has 75 factors. There's a lot of them. But going back to the given, in order to have a positive product, it's either the first and the second factor are both negative or both of them are positive. Let's take a look at the negative case. We have here y minus 252 is negative. That can be written as y minus 252 is less than zero. And for x minus 252 to be negative, that means x minus 252 is less than zero. And solving for y here, y is less than 252 and 
x is less than 252. Both of them are less than 252. But notice that the product should be 252 times 252. That means this is not possible because we are looking for the positive integer solution. So we also know that y must be greater than 0 and x must be greater than 0. And so for the negative case, this range of values for x and y is not possible because we cannot get here a product of 252 squared. And therefore, we now say that y minus 252 here must be positive, x minus 252 here must be positive, and the product is also positive 252 squared. There are 75 of them. Let's take a look at some of those 75 factors. So, the equation that we are working on is 1 over x plus 1 over y equals 1 over 252, and that is this last column. And we have here x minus 252, y minus 252, and we listed down here the 75 possible factors whose product is 252 squared or 63,504. So for the first factor, we can have 1 times 63,504. If the first factor is 1, x minus 252 must have a value of x equals 253, so that 253 minus 252 is equal to this factor 1. Also, for y minus 252, y must be 63,756, so that that number minus 252 is equal to 63,504. The same explanation for the rest of the 75 solutions that I'm going to list later on. Also, we can check that 1 over 253 plus 1 over 63,756, that must be equal to 1 over 252. And so here are now the first 25 solutions to this Diophantine equation. And here is the other 25, and here is the other 25 to complete the 75 pair of factors corresponding to the 75 ordered pair.